John Elway. I replaced Bo Nix, and I get it, you know, Bo leave. Everybody loves him. But we got rid of him and we replaced him with John Elway. You know, the guy who's won Super Bowls with the Denver Broncos. Yeah. That guy. So we're going to see how well John Elway does today. For some reason, he's supposed to be six foot three. Madden always glitches and puts a guy either one inch uh, taller than they are or one inch smaller than they are. Six foot four, though. John Elway. Let's see how it goes. From Stanford. Was that Stanford? Am I correct? He is from Stanford. Yeah, okay. Don't know why for a second. I. I I don't know, man. I'm not a Broncos fan, so I don't. I also don't watch college football, so I don't really know too much about where players go to college sometimes. But anyway, it's starting off two and zero, which is actually pretty damn good. Three and zero, okay. Four and zero, three and one, okay. They lost to the Jets. It is what it is. Um, then they win, okay. Now they play the Chargers in Denver, divisional matchup. They lose that game, okay. Play the Saints in New Orleans. They win. Panthers in Denver. And, oh, another loss? Come on, man. Ooh. All right, now they're going on a little bit of a tear. The opposite direction. Three losses in a row. They went from 5-2 and two to 6-5. and five. Not exactly where you want to be sitting right now if you're Denver. They beat the Raiders, now they play the Brownies, and they lose to the Brownies. So they're currently sitting at a 7-6 record going into their bye week, which not what you want to see if you're the Denver Broncos here. They lost to the Browns 20 to nothing. Not sure what's going on there. Let's see what John Elway has done so far with his stats. Um, 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, almost 3,000 yards. Keep in mind, we will be doing two simulations as always. Uh, we do our first one, which is me just importing the player and seeing what he does. And then the second simulation is me actually going through and just simming it the whole season. And usually the second simulation does better. So if this one doesn't do as good, usually the second one is a lot better. Alright, so they beat the Colts after the bye week. They lose to the Chargers. They play the Cincinnati Bengals. They beat the Bengals. They play the Chiefs again in Denver. And that will get them knocked out of the playoffs as they lose and they go 9-8. Nine 9-8 and, eight. Nine and eight and they do not make the playoffs. All right. Again, first simulations. Always a little, you know, messy. But again, this squad... They're in a weird spot, man. Like, they're not... I don't think this squad, even with the perfect quarterback, I don't know if they're a Super Bowl team. I think that they're a fringe playoff team with the perfect quarterback, but I don't know if they're 100% a Super Bowl team. But John Elway did show up on the MVP race at number 7. He's also going to win Rookie of the Year 100%. That's not a question. He didn't. Xavier Worthy won MVP over John Elway. Hold the phone. What did Xavier Worthy do? Okay, well, he threw 5,200 yards. Um, 1,000 yards and 16 touchdowns. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. Madden is very stupid when it comes to touchdowns. <laughs> when it comes to touchdowns for wide receivers and running backs... We can get into the 16 to 20 range very easy, which kind of defeats the purpose of realism. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, rookie of the year is Xavier Worthy. All right, so let's do a second simulation. Let's see um, maybe a little bit of a better situation, as they would say. I have a little bit more faith with the situation here. All right, come on, man. Let's do the load, load, and there we go. All right, second sim. Better than the first. Do something and put it in reverse. I don't know, something like that. All right, week two, week three, week four, week five. Again, shout out to EA Sports for fixing Madden this year and actually making franchise mode 
offline franchise mode, you to take to sim a whole one season, just one single season, you to take five to six minutes. Now it takes roughly around a minute and a half. And that is absolutely amazing. Maybe less than a minute and a half, actually. I thought it was a minute and a half. But this simulation, they went 12 and 5, which is more realistic when you add John Elway to the squad. Like I said, I call him a fringe playoff team. I was wrong. <laughs> That's pretty much how that works. I was incorrect, I guess. Uh, apparently, a good quarterback can take them to pass a fringe playoff team. Um, although, technically speaking, they're 12 and 5, but they are fifth seed, which isn't. Okay, never mind. That isn't really a fringe anyway. <laughs> 38 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 4,100 yards. Um, also, Elway had two rushing touchdowns. Let's go. Not very mobile, but, you know, two rushing touchdowns, kind of the average for immobile white guys, I feel like. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Immobile white guys. <laughs> sounds like a, That sounds like a failed boy band. Uh, six on the MVP race. Did Xavier Worthy beat him again? Um, no, he won MVP this year and Xavier Worthy did not show up on. No, he did. He's number three. He's number three. All right. Well, at least Elway won MVP. All right. Wild card weekend plays the Baltimore Ravens and he wins. Okay. Now they play the Kansas City Chiefs. Interesting. And they lose. Okay. Well. Chiefs are kind of a super team. It is what it is. Especially in Madden. Because Xavier Worthy in Madden is like 10 times better than he is in real life. Saints-Jaguars Super Bowl is kind of nasty. That's kind of the pullable in every aspect. And it ends up being the Jags winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> Bro, ain't no way the Jags beat the Chiefs in the championship. And the Saints beat the 49ers. That is, that is ratchet. Bruh. All right, well, it is what it is, you know. We have ourselves. Who did they lose to in this franchise? That's now my question. They had five losses on the season, right? So they lost to the Seahawks, okay? Lost to the Saints, lost to the Panthers. Really? They season swept. They season swept this, this, the Chiefs. But then lost to those teams. And then lost to the Chargers and Bengals. Chargers and Bengals, not that crazy. But still, though, that's actually insane to me. All right, well, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And look at CMC winning Offensive Player of the Year, which he might never do again, sadly, because he has, like, his, his legs are messed up. That guy went to Germany, tried to get fixed, and... I forget what they said. He has, like, both legs are messed up. So, hopefully he gets better. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.